Welcome to the Art Loft. Join us behind the scenes as we create a whole bunch of interesting art and explore life here in Savannah and surrounding Low Country, one gig at a time. It's not as life I lead, yeah, to me it's not a game. <laughs> Stuck in traffic on the Tom Hodge Bridge here. This is the bridge how you know you're entering Savannah, Georgia or leaving. In this case, <laughs> not going anywhere. I'm actually on my way to a gig in Port Royal, South Carolina at Shell Ring Ale Works. I always look up my window because I can see the bridge from here. And generally I can tell if there's a traffic delay or not and that makes a difference in whether I leave early or leave when I need to. Well, today everything looked fine and dandy and suddenly here I am stuck in traffic, so things happen, I guess. No worries, I should have time to get there and get set up and play my gig, so. Watch the man who rode you switch from sales to... Right on time, and Shell Ring is really busy today. And just when I thought there's no way I'm going to find a parking space, I found the perfect one. Shell Ring Ale Works is located right on the water. And with its soaring live oaks, it's a testament to the beauty of the low country. They have an incredible patio with seating that overlooks the salt marsh. The sunsets here are usually pretty epic with sailboats moored in silhouette. I run my share of grass and made enough money to buy Miami, but I pissed it away. But with a little spring chill in the air, today we've decided I'll be setting up indoors, performing a mix of country, folk, rock, a little bit of reggae, and a whole bunch of storytelling original music. Back in the art loft in downtown Savannah, I'm making some progress on a new painting. These paintings don't come to life overnight. In fact, it'll probably take me a month to see this through. In our household, art is how we celebrate life. And today, Jennifer's whipping up her own work of art. And the sugar hound seems pretty excited about it. What are you making? I am making a strawberry pot, well actually it's strawberry tart. Since my husband wants a tart instead of a pie. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Quite honestly, I never saw this coming. I've never lived in a place where music is so well supported. But here in the low country, folks seek out live music. And of all my creative pursuits here in Savannah and surrounding low country, music has definitely become an intricate part of our lifestyle. It's a beautiful thing when your passion, your work, your life, all meld into one. I think Tom Petty may have said it best, running down a dream that never would have come to me, working on a mystery, going wherever it leads, running down a dream. Fresh tart. Can I eat this? Yes. There's a lot of squeaking going on, and Sugar's definitely starting to find her voice. We got nothing to say. Huh? Roof this, roof that. Do a lot of talking. A lot of tail wagging, too.
So the Tom Hodge Bridge is actually an enormous bridge where shipping containers come through to the Savannah port. And let me tell you, sometimes it looks like they're gonna hit. I mean, it's so narrow. In fact, they are raising the bridge is my understanding and they claim they're not going to have to stop traffic in order to raise the bridge. Now, I don't know how that's humanly possible, but I'm no architect. There's actually an article on savannahproper.com that uh, highlights the Talmadge Bridge and what it's all about. And uh, there's some beautiful t photography there of the bridge that I've captured uh, while being here on the Savannah scene. So y'all can go check that out, learn a little bit about this amazing structure that I'm stuck in traffic on. Welcome to Plant Riverside, downtown Savannah, right on the riverfront. A really awesome location right here at the JW Marriott, which is such an epic hotel. This is kind of the hub or hot spot for entertainment in Savannah. The Plant Riverside district are big supporters of live music, both local and regional or national acts. And it's always a great place to perform because I get to meet people from all walks of life from all over the world. We're learning. Sugar really likes strawberries. Well, that's not how she chews them. Uh-huh. Here. Oh, boy. Man, I love it down here in Savannah, Georgia. So many live oaks and kind folks everywhere. City of great food and good people, you know. When I moved down here, man, you can't help but be inspired to write a song, right? This is off my new album. This is called Savannah Sky. Savannah, I'm gonna take a little walk. Huh? So you should have called her zigzag. Zigzag? Well, she got a zigzag. She's a zigzag. South on 95. 17 and you'll arrive. You cross a bridge, you see the fog along the water. Savannah is Dogtown, especially in Forsyth Park. This is one city where dogs are welcome pretty much everywhere you go. And today we're hitting up the Forsyth Park Farmer's Market. Guaranteed to be hopping every Saturday morning. Here you'll find musicians and street performers, artists of all different kinds, local goods, and absolutely the best fresh vegetables and meats and and pretty much anything else you could want to prepare a great meal. And that's our plan for this Saturday afternoon. One of the things we love about Savannah is that it's a walking city, living and breathing, you know? And uh, there's so much to do here, so much to see, but the, definitely the farmer's market being close by is a great thing on a Saturday morning. There's tons of great bakeries and amazing farm stands, so lots to get, lots to eat. <laughs> We're gonna eat well today. Wow. 
Wow. That's good eating. And that's pretty much how the past few days went down here in Savannah, Georgia for us. As you can see, this town's full of plenty to do. But like any place you live, it's all what you make of it. And spending each day just applying ourselves, evolving, growing, and working towards being the best version of ourselves in this town that we now call home.